Hi everyone, Messy Coder back again with another Asset Store review. This time it is the Sci-Fi Heavy Station Kit Base Volume 2 from Dot Team. This is $29 on the Unity Asset Store. You get 270 prefabs. It's also got a colony pack which you upgraded to Volume 2. Well, to get rid of this one, 58 bucks, you'll be getting 675 prefabs to play about with. And if you pop over to his website, well, you can even download more stuff for free. Link will be in the description down below. Uh, I've got to say a massive thank you to everyone in my community who loves to donate, tip, support, subscribe on Twitch, um, use my link, affiliate links, which means when you use my links to the asset store, some couple of quids get thrown my way. Without all of you, I won't be able to do these reviews because I won't be able to afford to buy all of these assets. To give a little bit of a love back, we've got copies of Dot Team's sci fi packs to give away as well. So if you pop over to my Twitch or the w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder on Saturdays, you'll be able to enter in raffles for a load of different stuff. We recently had our anniversary stream where we gave away, we had over, what, $14,000 worth of assets and games? It was crazy. It was, really was a crazy time. And every Saturday, I'll be trying to give away even more assets. And I'll be telling you how you can win some of these dot team stuff later on in these videos. This is the first part of a two part tutorial I'll be doing on well, tutorial review rather, that I'll be doing on the dot team assets. We'll be doing the colony next in the colony pack. We'll be playing about with all of the things that I feel are missing from this one, such as props, chairs, tables, cutlery cupboards you can open all that stuff is in the colony pack and also a really funky system to help you climb about inside the ventilations of your sci-fi pack so if you're in a big sci-fi spaceship and you want to be hiding from any aliens or in the colony you can have a nice ventilation shaft to do that so for now we're playing about with the sci-fi heavy station kit base volume 2 from dot team sit back enjoy and i'll see you all in a second. Hi everyone, Messy Coder back again. I'm inside Unity with the Sci Fi Heavy Station Kit Base Volume 2 from Dot Team. Not to be mistaken, maybe it's Volume 1. This is $28 on the Unity Asset Store. Difference between Volume 1 and Volume 2, I'm not too sure. What I do know is that Volume 2 does have really lovely PBO textures. Uh, I think it does look wonderful. So uh, you get some of these models have got emissions on them as well in their textures where they need to be. So uh, we're going to be like about, I want to show you just how many prefabs you get. We get 270, loads of them. Those are 270 prefabs. You also get these wonderful animated textures that really make your computer screens come to life in this pack look at them uh you know okay they are some of them on, on a very short loop but even that very short loop does make your game really feel like it's real and that's the other thing that annoys me a lot of the times you see these computer screens in these assets is that's just a plain bland texture and even sometimes stretched really badly what i love about this pack is that all of these models here, these units here, are, you know, basically so modular that you can mix and match to your heart's content. Also, it doesn't waste uh, memory where you don't need to. These are one-sided in here. And there we go. Look at that. If you want to have them two-sided, obviously you just build around it. There you go. Build your exteriors. So because we will show you in a moment, we've got exteriors and interior demo scenes already made. So it's not just for interiors, this pack. You can also make a wonderful outside of your sci-fi world as well. One of the things I love about this pack is these. These structural thing jigs. Look at them. They are lovely. You've got them. Um, not only can you, do you need to have them like here, like one piece looking. There are chopped up into little pieces you've got the middle bits you've got the end bits you've got two different sizes of middle bits so you've got these short ones here and these long ones you can even double them up as well they come completely different sizes you don't have to have the width that he has and these side bits here even longer than these side bits i love that i really do because it means it's truly modular you can basically make whatever weird sci-fi fantasy building to your heart's content uh you've got these little 
tubey little frame bits on them as well. You've got these wonderful doors. I love this door. I'm going to show you the door scripts when we're playing about inside the demo scenes as well. Um, all these little computer screens that you've got here, these units, or you just have these little small bits there, flat ones, tables. You've got the nipple satellites. I like to think of these little nipple satellite dishes pointing out into space. Um, I love the attention to detail that it does have on like, these models. I uh, really do. I would love to see some rubber, some like tubing, rubber, rubber space tubing. That's the only thing that's missing from this pack. But I feel um, I would also like to see these engines, like these turbines, spinning around. I'd like to see these animating. That would have been a nice touch. But look, look how much you can get in this pack. It's just too much for me to show you in this this first half a review why is it a first half a review well because you also get a colony pack from dot team which is 29 dollars as well so together 58 dollars for these two packs and that pretty much will mean that all of the things that i'll be missing from this pack such as um, containers that i can open and close and loads of props for inside the buildings inside this spaceship rather um, would be in that colony pack so 29 dollars makes this a very cheap pack uh, if you want to have more stuff on here well you're going to be throwing it in with the colony and that makes it 58 dollars so then you know a bit more expensive but it's a more thorough pack of prefabs that you're going to be getting let's open up the this scene here number two and we've got the kids screaming downstairs saying, Daddy, quickly, open up that demo scene. We want to see the spaceships. So we're inside now. Look at this. Beep, beep. Can't go through this. Beep, beep. Can't go through this door. And that's because we need to get some power to this door. Let's find one over here. Here we go. Here's a button. Here's a button. You get these scripts. You get these scripts for free. Click. And now the door is green. Beep. And now I can go through it this door here oh no look it's a bug no it's not a bug because actually this is a broken door and i'll show you what i mean if i pause it now and click on our little man and look at this door and click on that door there go to the inspector and i can change the status to say inactive open and then boom it stays open and there's no lights when a thing and it will always be open whereas now if i change it to inactive closed and move it to close and now look it's close i can't go through it and if i change that to b forget the spelling broken open see that's now that one there broken open and if i change it now to b broken close we're gonna get a knock on the door daddy daddy i need to go to i need to go wee wee we're gonna get a knock no we're not um and boom it's a little bit ajar and then we've got this one which is blocked and boom Got the red oh no we can't escape we're stuck inside put that back to how it was which was active because we don't want to be stuck inside now if i beep, jump over here see what i mean about these wonderful little additions here it doesn't really make it feel like we are inside some kind of space base because it's being held together they won't just collapse on our heads also we've got this little flickering light script going on as well nice little touch do you mind the FPS is me on OBS. I'm recording this on OBS for a change rather than my normal software. So the FPS is a little bit lower, a little bit lower, but it does mean that hopefully the audio will be better. Also got ladder scripts added on this using like the standard Unity player controller with some extra scripts thrown on it. So little gifts of love like climbing up a ladder. I love these textures. Look at the textures here on the bottom. Slight little additional colors we've got here love look at that. look up to the sky and then boom look at that no attention to details up there as well we've got floors above us we've got ceiling we've got computer screens we've got tubes and pipes and whatnot we've got these lovely little tanks here that are if we now pause and have a look at that tank look at that cylinder and Boom, here we are. This is 3,348. This one, 3,342. This one, 96. The texture does all of the work. So, another one, 96. So, we vary from, oh, look at this one with the little ovals here kicking it up 
so just under 5,000 votes, 4,300 tries. Little things like that really do throw up the poly count. But I'm going to say I love these models, and they're not crazily big, but we just don't have a load of these on them. So maybe that's going to be coming in an update. We're going to find out. So I'm um, going to say that if you don't see it, don't draw it, because if you're interiors, and you guys just running around here inside this little room, then you're not going to see anything else. Don't draw it, and your speed optimization, your performance is going to be great. Yeah, optimize you. Optimize your game, not just with models, but with scripts and with the logic you get inside units as well. <gasps> oh! Insufficient energy! No! We don't have enough energy! Look, it's telling us. Actually, that, that we should be able to tweak that one to be like 0% or something. Um, so insufficient energy, that would have been a nice touch, that jumping down there, gonna crawl over here, uh, walking around, oh no, go oh, down, let's get down these stairs and handrails and sloping staircases, that's nice. We're going to see some more staircase designs in the colony pack, but for a sci-fi base, that is very nice indeed. Let's go around here, more computer screens and power on. Power on my friends. Look at the scratches, look at the dirt on here. Oh, I love it. I really do like this pack. 29 bucks. It, it, I'm gonna say like for 29 bucks, we are getting a lot in this pack. Oh, why aren't you animating? Why don't you spin and turn around? That's a little shame. I'd love to see that spinning and turning around. Now I could spend hours just walking around this demo scene because this demo scene is uh, you know, it's not hugely, hugely huge, but there's so much to explore, so many little touches. Uh, look, look, look up there. You can see that there, those uh, pipes. I'm not sure whether that pipe there is not really attached to anything. It's attached to half of that base. Hmm. Um, odd one there. Never mind. We won't talk about that one. What's a hovering pipe between friends? Let's pop into another demo scene otherwise I'm just going to be distracted here playing about too much enjoying myself too much beep beep right. let's pop into let's pop into the outsides and click play oh falling down so a bit loud we've got the turbines going off we've got over here this weird energy thing poking up out of the ground we've got antennas here aerials on this pylon we've got um, these textures here on these walls I want to show you something oh look a ladder let's climb up distracted myself with a ladder climb up here what I love about this pack is that you don't just get these one textures for these walls because you know that can be a little bit boring but you also get the choice of chain mixing up a little bit. And I'm just going to click on one of these walls here. Now, if I show you this little folder here, we've got walls and click on there. We've got walls uh, zero, which is this kind of color. There you go. And if I go and choose, we've got walls one, slightly different color. Two, oh, bluey. Three, mm -hmm. And then four, wow, bronzy like so many color. So we don't really get like patterns changing, but we get color change, and that's nice. I do like the fact that we get a color change going on. And you do get a lot in this pack, but so much stuff that we can have this nice exterior buildings here. And at the same time, we can go inside, put some power on, boop, and we can go inside, beep, and check out. So it made everything this kind of metallic colour. Yeah. This salmon -y, rusty bronze looking metal. Now um you do get some rocks as we can see outside. And got ground texture and this weird grass. But to be honest, apart from this rock, which I do actually like this rock, the rest of it I could pass quite happily, not really. I mean, it's in there because you do need to have some ground if you're going to battle an exterior. But let's be honest, it's not the best ground texture. But I actually like those rocks. I find those rocks really quite pleasant. Pleasant to look at. I also like the fact that we can go out through here 
and get ourselves. Ah, long drink here. No, actually, that's just me just wiggling my mouse. Uh, you could just put a script on that yourself. Let's get back inside. Hello, nipple satellites. So, what do I think about this pack for 29 bucks? For 25 bucks, I was very surprised that we get so much. I like these little scruffs and skirts and skibbers on the textures. I think makes them feel alive. I'm not looking at an IKEA catalog. I really am in a sci-fi base. I don't. I'm not one of those people that are not really that keen on the height maps. I'm like, you know, you gotta, you gotta do it. Be really careful with them, and I think that his normal maps are actually so good that you probably don't even need the height maps. But with these height maps, he has. I had to speak to the developer, the, the artist, and he made uh, a second set of height maps for this pack. And they were a little bit not so strong as, as the ones that were on the asset store at the time of this downloading and starting this review, because I felt those were too strong. These ones. I love them. Look at them. It really does feel like, like it's real. I can rub my hand along them with the textures. Again, apologies if the frame rate's looking a little bit weird, and that's because I'm using OBS. And we're going to be playing about the second part of this review, looking at the colony pack to see what wonderful props and models we get in that colony pack that can really help this sci-fi base really come to life because. It's a bit bland if you're just walking around and look, you don't even have any chairs to sit on. Do we not even have any chairs in this pack? Come on, there's the power. Put the door control on. So um, let's have a look at the chairs because, to be honest, I played about with this pack and I'm not sure I've ever come across a chair. No, there's no chairs. So we're going to be playing about with chairs in the colony pack. There's also a ventilation system that you can climb around the ventilation system inside your spaceship like we're playing about with that alien game that we played on Twitch or w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder where we played about with an alien game and got a bit scared uh, so scared in fact that we didn't even complete it I should start that one again maybe not on hardcore mode but on a normal mode for a sane person or why not make our own game using wonderful assets like these that we've got in the sci-fi face-off other assets we're going to be looking at in the sci-fi face-off are assets from Creepy Cat, Barking Dog, Zemo Catalan. We've also looked at uh, Red Panda and Maxim Bugrimov, who's got an asset out there for a fiver. Can't really complain about that. Now, I want to see just how well these assets play with each other. Right, could have chosen a better choice of face, but you know what? It's nice to get a wonderful looking asset pack and then what I like about Dot Team is that he's got about six different asset packs all on the same stream so that you know you are gonna find a lot of other things. You've got version ones, version twos of his assets, you've got the colony, this sci-fi base, and you've also got the hangers as well for version two that's coming out soon. So there's a lot of stuff that you can be having, but why not also mix this up with some assets? from Creepy Cat or Barking Dog and see, you know, you might, you're not always going to find exactly what you want in one asset pack, so it's nice to see when assets can work well together. Talking about working well together, well, I work well with you and if you want to come and play with me, you can always do so over on Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash the messy coder, where you can catch me every Saturday. I am doing live dev interviews. Also, also sometimes doing some coding and tutorials congratulations you survived you made it till the end of this video and inside this review was a hidden clue in the next video i'll be reviewing the sci-fi packs from dot team i'll be asking you a question if you answer that magical question you could be in with a chance to win yourself a copy of one of his assets so until next time if you do like these videos you want to see more don't forget to click on that big juicy red subscribe button pop over to Twitch, order w.twitch.tv slash the messy coder, click follow, help me get to 1000 followers on Twitch. It's not a lot, not a lot to ask. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button, and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.